Let's give a hand for Brian. Now, Brian came to church and he gave his life to Jesus Christ about two years ago. Before that, he had very shattered life. Drugs took his life away. He had no religious or church background whatsoever. And uh, at one point, he actually overdosed on drugs four times and he was pronounced dead once. And then doctors, they brought him back to life. And God just gave mercy on his life. And after going to jail and after some time spending in jail and after that, he... Um, uh, he went to the treatment program and he recovered uh, he recovered from drugs and we just want to I have a few questions that we would like to ask him tonight and Brian can you please uh, go back two years and tell us how did you come about this place and what was your experience at first um, so the first time I came it was it was really awkward it was uh, just the presence in here it was I felt really out of place <clears throat> um, you know, everybody's singing, everybody, you know, everybody's joyful. And uh, at that point, at that point in my life, I wasn't, I wasn't there yet. Um, I just, I didn't have a lot of sense of joy and peace. And so when I came here, it was just, it was different. I hadn't, you know, I knew nothing about God. I knew nothing about the love of God or, or anything. So. Can you tell us who invited you to this place? Um, Solomita did. Brian, we know that. Um, can you please tell us how, um, your dedication to Jesus Christ and the church uh, helped you to get free from drugs and alcohol addictions. So that song we sung tonight, it said it, that's really, that's like all I have to say is, you know, my heart is alive. And uh, that's how I feel now. It's, you know, um, it, it gave me a sense of, you know, I experienced God's love in a way that I've never experienced before. Um, you know, no matter what happened to me in the past, no matter who I thought I was before, um, you know, I just continue to, uh, you know, proclaim that I, you know, who I am through Christ. Um, so the love of God has just really touched my life. Uh, also, you know, it's, I had no purpose or I didn't, I couldn't say no purpose, but I had no vision before. Um, you know, I ran around aimlessly. I had nothing that I was going towards. I knew I wanted to do something with my life, but I didn't know what. Um, and so once I gave my life to God and I continue to read, um, fill myself, you know, with the mentors here and leaders here, uh, it gave me a vision on what I want to see. And uh, to see, you know, first and foremost, I want, I'd love to see every one of my family members saved, to experience what I have felt. Because, um, you know, we come from a background where there is, there is no there is no God. They don't give God praise. They don't worship God. And uh, for me, it's completely changed my life, uh, my relationships with people. Um, so, and, and I, you know, I don't quite know yet what my purpose is. Um, I know in a sense to see people saved, um, to see people healed, um, you know, and I'm just on along, along for the journey and to be available to wherever God wants to use me. Amen, amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Brian, we know that um, after you gave your life to Jesus Christ, you started to show very huge commitment to morning prayers and spending time with the Lord and actually uh, giving large sums large amount of money away like your paychecks to people who were in need can you tell us what was your motivation what drove you to do such radical things um so we see it here and one of the one of the biggest thing or one of the biggest impacts was i read the book the blessed life um and then so that impacted me a lot and you know it just showed me that you know you could give all you have and god's always going to provide for it you can't out give god um it also, the life that I was living before, it was, you know, I didn't really have a whole lot. Um, and so it was like, you know, I don't want to live my life just, you know, taking everything in and getting to the top in a sense. Uh, it was like, there's still dying people out there. There's still hurting people out there that don't have enough. And so, you know, uh, I know that God will provide for me. So I, I'll give, and that was just a decision that I've made that, you know, throughout the year I want to give, you know, a couple, a couple big sacrifices, so. Wow, that is awesome. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. We know that today is actually a special, special day for you. Can you please tell us why? Um, so I guess it's, it's special. Uh, it, I graduated, it's a, it's a drug court program. Um, they, it's in a sense they call it Hugs for Thugs. Um, 
but it but it's a program that it, uh, they don't necessarily they help you in a sense of holding you accountable. Um, the program's long enough; it's it's eighteen months long. Um, I was in it for like twenty two, uh, but it the program it so it got rid of all my all my felonies. I went in there with like four four possibly five felonies that I would have had um, one from previously. But uh, so it completely wiped them away. So legally, you know, I'm, I, in a sense, I get to start over free. I got in other trouble. But for those, uh, you know, they wipe away free. Um, it's dismissed. Uh, and so it's, it's to me, uh, the program, it's been, it's important. You know, I take, it's an accomplishment for me. Um, it wasn't the hardest thing to do. You, just, you know, anything in life, if you set your mind to it, you can do it. Um, but uh, it's, a, it's just a stepping stone for the plan that God has for me. So. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're so happy. And you can see on the picture, can you put the picture back? Yeah, he's holding his certificate. And I would like to invite his mother that is here tonight, Kaylee. Can you please come with his certificate if it's here? His mother, Kaylee, she came as a surprise to his graduations from Portland. She is here with us tonight celebrating his son, her son's freedom. And she made a surprise, showed up at the court. He was very shocked to see her because she's attending school in Portland. And we're so happy that you're with us tonight. Welcome, Kaylee. We just want to, can you switch places real quick? <laughs> I just want to ask you one question. What can you uh, tell about um, seeing the progress your son has made? And what can you tell about that? How do you feel about it? Oh, I'm so proud. I'm so proud. I didn't think this day would come. I figured I was going to be burying my son because his road, his path was destructive. And he took his sister and I with him. And um, today... Here he is, and I know God has a, has a plan for him, or he wouldn't be here today. Yes. Uh, yes, let's put our hands together for God. Kaylee, we're really happy for your son, your family, and we know that God will do great things. And it's just the beginning, just the start of what is about to come to your family. Amen? Amen. So, and Brian, I want to ask you last question, if you would. Can you please share a word of advice, uh, maybe to people who might be uh, struggling with a similar situation in their life, finding themselves addicted to drugs or something? What can you tell them? Uh, you know, once you get over the stage of, you know, once you, first of all, you have to make the decision to quit. But once you get over that decision, or once you get over the, you know, the addictive part of it, because there is, there is physical withdrawals of everything. So once you can get over that... Um, you know, it took me the longest time to get to the point to where, you know, and that's where, like, praying, that's why I dedicated to prayer is, you know, it's almost like a positive reinforcement. Um, you continually have to tell yourself who you are through Christ and what God's word says about you, not about what your past says, not about what your current situation. Um, and so it's, you know, to just to constantly fill yourself with positive, with, uh, you know, reinforcement that tell, says who you are and not not, you know, what you think you are and what the devil's trying to tell you who you are. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing.